Technology is also providing significant new tools to make journalism better. Crowdsourcing, the ability of the audience, of you, to inform the journalism is exploding. At The Guardian in England, they call this open journalism. A reporter goes to Czechoslovakia to find out, the former Czechoslovakia, to find out what's being done to combat poverty. He puts a note on Twitter, he posts on Twitter saying, I'm here, I'm going to be at this street corner. If you have answers to this question, come and meet me. And is able to do a series based on sources he never would have known that weren't in his Rolodex. A blogger says, I'm going to cover banking. I don't know anything about it. Educate me. And suddenly the audience becomes his teachers, also at The Guardian. The paper takes a photograph of a, or has a photograph of a protester in England who's been killed. The police say he had a heart attack. The Guardian asks if anyone worldwide has video of the moment that he died. A hedge fund investor in New York sees the post, checks his phone, has the video, and establishes that he was killed by police. Each of these new forms has its place. During a hurricane, citizen photographers can be many more places than the journalists and any one news organization 